And following her final appearance at the Tokyo Olympics, national 800-meter runner Natoya Gould now has a street named after her in her community of Top Coffee Grove. The newly constructed road, which runs from the main road past her house, was officially opened by Minister of Sport Olivia Grange and a sign bearing the athlete's image unveiled. You know, like, the, they come together to have this special day for me to rename my street after me, which I grew up in. I'm really proud and happy about it. One of the main architects in Gould's journey is her high school coach, Jerry Holness, who recruited her in 2003 to Manchester High. I think her performance at this level and what she has achieved over the years must be an inspiration for all the youngsters, especially in this community. And it goes to show that it doesn't matter where you're from, once you're determined, you can achieve. Gould was tight-lipped about her plans for the outdoor season this year. Well, at this moment, I have to wait and see what my coach says. You know, when I get back, I have to have a conversation with him about my upcoming season because it will be a long season next year, so we'll see what goes on. And Sports Minister Grange also announced plans for a partnership with Kenya to aid the nation's distance program. They want us to train their sprinters, mm -hmm. and they will train our middle distance Stop runners. <laughs> and I have been having discussions with Natalia about it and her coach. So if she can go there and she get that much more training, yeah. then you can expect that much more from her. Although Jamaica has done well yes. with her athletes.